Hello there and welcome back to a short guide on how to enable controller support on Plunderstorm, which is the new game mode of patch 10.2.6 of World of Warcraft. So let's just dive straight into it. World of Warcraft has had default controller support for a little while now, uh, so you can like set up all the keybinds and things like that. Obviously, incredible add-ons like console port do really help out with the default controller support. However, Plunderstorm does not enable add-ons. But that's totally fine because the default WoW client does support the controller. So what you got to do here is once you load into a Plunderstorm match, you need to enable gamepad support. You do this by opening the chat and typing slash console gamepad enable one. I'll put the copy and paste down in the description. Uh, once that's done, you'll notice that if you have an Xbox controller or PlayStation or anything uh, and you move around, the movement will immediately start working and you can use those analog sticks to move around. It feels really, really nice. Now, as you'll also notice, none of your key binds are set up. Now, this is fairly simple to do. You're going to have to open the menu using the keyboard. Now, none of the key binds that you set up here will change your regular World of Warcraft. That's really important to note. So don't worry about messing up all of your regular key binds. This is just simply going to be Plunderstorm key binds exclusively. Now, when you go to the key bind menu, you'll notice that there are two boxes. You obviously want to fill out the blank one here with your gamepad buttons. You can just set that up as you like. Now, if you're looking for a specific key bind, you can just use the search option at the top. So say if you're looking for like world map or something like that, you could just type in map and the keybind will appear. So, so yeah, just play around with it, move the keybinds around. I found that setting A to jump works really well, but again, it's completely up to you how you want to set this up. But once you're in the game, it feels super nice to run around with the controller and attack people and move around and things like that. One final thing to note with the controller support, you can also use the action cam here. So there'll be another command you can use, which is slash console action cam full. Again, I'll leave that in the description. This will enable the dynamic camera. And this is actually a really cool way to play, especially with controller support. So if you want to use the controller support and the dynamic cam, it definitely feels super nice to play, especially something like a Steam Deck. I recently set it up on my Steam Deck and it feels super nice. So yeah, there you go. A pretty simple guide to setting up your controller on World of Warcraft Plunderstorm, which is the brand new mode. This mode is going to be around for approximately six weeks. However, it might go on for a little bit longer. So make sure you're setting it up. I definitely recommend trying it out if you have a controller kind of set up Bluetooth or wired or whatever. It's definitely a lot of fun uh, to play like that because this mode just feels so different to regular WoW. It's great. And if you really want to set up the controller keybinds for regular WoW as well, it is a lot of fun to move around uh, using those joysticks. But yeah, there you go, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please do leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to support me outside of YouTube, I'm also on Patreon and on Twitter at MrGMYT. And I also stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash MrGM. If you want to see me streaming Dragonflight, some Plunderstorm, Season of Discovery, any sort of World of Warcraft, I'm over on twitch.tv slash MrGM every single day. And with that, guys, I'll see you next time.